All right. Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my Vibey Lit Abundant YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, hello. Hi, how are you? My name is Shanetta from goldenlineage.com. And over here on this Vibey Lit Abundant YouTube channel, I love to make in-depth, juicy tarot predictions, pick a card readings, collective timeless tarot readings, and other spiritual related videos, okay? So if that is something that interests you, you would like to continue seeing me and my energy, definitely be sure to subscribe. All right. Join this beautiful growing family. And while you are subscribing, uh, and while you are subscribing, be sure to ring that post bell notification bell down below. So you stay updated and you do not miss out when homegirl, when sister posts future videos like so you already mother freaking know. Let's get it. Let's go period. Oh, snap. Hello, family. Welcome to your week ahead energy reading. What can you expect? What can you look out for? The overall collective tea, and then we dive more specifically into you and what's popping up for you specifically with the week ahead. We're going to get into it. We're going to be covering the energy from October 8th, all the way to the 14th, you guys. And I just let it, like, how are y'all feeling? Like, you know, we're in eclipse season now. We're having an eclipse at the end of the week on the 14th, a new moon powerful um, solar eclipse. So I'm excited to see what takes place. That's going to be in Libra too. So we're going to get it popping. Um, yes, family. I know I missed you know, last week's week ahead, but things were just busy. You know, sister was adjusting to this eclipse energy, but I'm excited to be, you know, posting the week aheads against consistently. So we're going to get into it also, um, for, because the people have been messaging me, when am I going to restock readings? I did restock a few of the one questions, um, as well as a few of the pre-recorded thirties. Okay. So if you want to get your hands on those before they get fully stocked, uh, out of stock, check that out. Uh, check out the website. Website. It's going to be in the description box. Also, family, at the end of this week, I am going live and doing a group ritual. This one is specifically focusing on attracting money, abundance, prosperity, all that Libra, Venus energy, because we need it. Y'all have been heavily requesting another money candle. So we're going to do some money magic at the end of the mother freaking week. Okay. So if you want to tap into that, you want to join in, check the description box. Okay. For everybody that already, you know, tapped in and is linked in. Okay. I'll see you guys live at the end of the week. All right. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this week ahead. For those of you that, you know, this is your first time watching, we start out with the collective tarot reading. And then at the end, we shift over into your group that you picked, where we look into more specifically catered to you, what's going to be popping up, what's going to be taking place and some advice specifically for you. Okay. So we are going to get right into it. I feel like there's going to be some powerful messages that come through. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, family, getting right into the collective reading. For this reading, we're going to be using this tarot deck I haven't pulled out in a long time. Okay. She was packed away. This is the Light Seers Tarot. All right. For all the fellow readers that like to know what's on the table. All right. You can definitely check out the description box that have all of the links to the decks. As long as I can find them, they will be down there. Okay. But let's get into it again. How is everybody feeling? Let's do an energy check-in. Eclipse season is starting. I just cut the deck and we see the hermit. Whoo. Okay. Queen of swords. It ain't nothing to cut that off. Snip, snip ho. <laughs> um, yeah. Eclipse season. Whoo. All right. You're feeling more sleepy, more moody. Like what's popping up for you guys. Okay. So again, we're going to be looking at the energy from the beginning of the week, the 8th of October, all the way to the 14th. Spirit, please connect me with the collective. Okay. The collective that will be watching this video that will be tuning into this reading here. What is the overall energy of the week? Ooh, something just fell on the flow. <laughs> fo, fo, fo. All right. What is the overall energy of the week ahead? What can we expect? What can we look out for? What's going to be popping up? What's going to be taking place? I believe, you know, when we start the week, the moon will be shifting over into Leo. So be sure to do something special that makes you, you know, feel confident, feel good about yourself, you know, do something 
nice to your hair, you know, a nice outfit, sing a nice song, do some karaoke, vibe out, hang with some really dope people. It's a need for that because the energy has been very, I'm not going to say dry or droopy, but the energy has been a little bit serious, a little bit like, whoo, it kind of has been feeling a little bit mercury retrograde -y, which is interesting because, you know, mercury is not retrograde anymore. And I believe mercury is out of its shadow period. I was like, what's going on? But it's eclipse season. Spirit, throw some daggone cards here. What can we expect? What can we look out for from the 8th of October all the way to the 14th? All right, the overall energy for the collective. What's going to be popping up? What can we expect? What can we look out for? All right. All right, that card wants to come through here. So we have the Page of Cups in reverse we have the ace of wands in reverse dang we have the two of swords in reverse okay what's going on for the week ahead okay we have temperance okay all right we have the nine of wands on top of the ace of wands i get it now okay judgment mm. high priestess Okay, so back of the deck energy, overall theme for the week ahead is actually really beautiful. Queen of Pentacles, I'm hearing focus on your damn self. Focus on your damn self. I'm gonna start channeling spirit, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles and behind it is the Ace of Pentacles. So I see frustration, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe you know, you guys are already feeling this energy and you'd be like, what the hell is going on? The nine of wands is, is an energy of somebody that is very guarded. This is an energy of somebody that's tense. They can't fully relax because they've been through a lot. Okay. So I see that if there has been confrontation, especially, you know, family related things. Okay. So this week, you know, how do I want to get this out? With the two of swords in the reverse position, this can talk about, you know, not seeing things fully clearly or refusing to see the truth of a situation. And I feel like this is going to be a powerful week where it's like you, you know, two of swords in reverse, you can't continue to ignore what's blatantly obvious. You know, you can't continue to keep on writing something off, even though you know that there's a deeper rooted issue here. So the four of wands in reverse, this could be issues with the home or somebody that lives in your home. This could be a relationship situation, um, a family member situation here, but the four of wands talks about a, a union. And when the four of wands is in the reverse position, there's a lack of stability in this union. I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know, with this eclipse energy, that's going to be popping up. And again, this week is, it's very powerful. It's very beautiful. But the biggest message that I heard intuitively, Queen of Pentacles, focus on your damn self. If somebody this week is not acting right, or they're acting funny, they're moving funny, or they're just, you know, making you play the guessing game or making you feel confused or making you feel out of the loop, or just, you know, matter of fact, just draining your energy. Because, you know, this eclipse energy is going to make you feel more tired, going to make you feel more fatigued, right? So we already have that. And then if you're dealing with confusion and conflict from other situations, we don't have time for that. So, you know, you know, you're blowing up somebody's phone, trying to get them to act right. Spirits like this week is not the week for it. All of that energy that you're putting into blowing up their phone or, you know, uh, you know, screaming your head off until they get the picture that you're trying to paint. None of that. And that can be very draining and very exhausting here. The queen of pentacles, it's just, look at her. I mean, look at her. She is unbothered. She is content with her own company. She is tending her garden. She is prosperous. She is beautiful. She is glowing. She is radiant. She is you. Okay. So this is the, this is the message. Okay. Where one thing is not acting right this week. Don't sweat it. Don't trip about it. It is meant. Don't try to force anything this week. Don't try to force reconciliation. Don't try to force somebody to see your perspective or point of view, because trust me, if the person truly, person or situation, this could be work too, but if the person truly, genuinely wanted to see things from your viewpoint, they would put ego to the side and they would do just that. So with the temperance card, this is like allowing things to just flow naturally. It's almost like, you know, I, I always tell people, you know, put those hands up in the air I surrender. I surrender spirit. I've done all that I can do in this situation. Take the wheel. And it's funny because earlier hours ago, the song, Jesus, take the wheel by Carrie Underwood popped up in my mother freaking head, you know, 
take the wheel, take it from my hands. Okay. I cannot do this on my own. I'm letting go. So that's an energy here. And, you know, ending the week with a new moon, I always tell people when there's a new moon energy, this is a time of planting new energy, planting intentions, planting the visions in the darkness of the universe and, you know, allowing it to, to come to fruition. So it's beautiful that we have the judgment card and we have the high priestess. These are very spiritual energies. So this week you're asked, you're being asked uh, the collective is being asked to go inward. All of the answers that you seek, you hold inside of yourself. Let me say that again. All of the answers that you seek, you hold them inside of your head. You hold them inside of your heart, inside of your knowing, inside of your vessel. It's almost like, I don't know if you guys have seen the Barbie movie, right? I, I watched it once it came out of theaters because I don't like theaters, okay? Um, but it's the part of the movie ugh, made me cry. She said, take my hands and feel. Oh, waterworks. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was the wine. I felt it. And that's just what it is. So it's like the answers that you are seeking this week, the clarity that you're seeking. Spirit is telling you to close your eyes and to feel, feel the emotions, feel the energy, the dreams that you have this week. Really tap in. How does it make you feel? What's popping up? What is the medicine? What is it really teaching you? What is the deeper meaning of these dreams that you're having this week? But I'm going to say it again. Do not overexert yourself trying to get someone or something to understand. Do not spread yourself even thinner than you're already feeling this week. This is a week to, you know, put the guard up a little bit. Put, you know, with the, the beautiful um, session, the group energy reset session that we did on the last day of September Ending the session, we envisioned a beautiful white golden light surrounding us, uh, engulfing us, our aura. Nobody can penetrate that light. Nobody can get in without your permission. And that's the same message that's coming through here. So, you know, be mindful if you do have energy vampires that are in your home or a neighbor situation or even work related things, do not let them disturb your peace. Okay. Because at the end of the day, the Queen of Pentacles is all of us this week week and spirit is reminding even if you have been feeling insecure or you've been feeling less than or you've been feeling you know some 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 intrusive thoughts have been you know maybe arising remind yourself that you are in fact that girl that man that woman that divine beautiful being you are you are right and so plant those new seeds because like even behind that we have the motherfucking five of swords he's tired he's stressed and spirits like if you're in this vibration if you're in this frequency this week breathe through it and, and, and throw those hands up in the air and tell spirit i'm gonna let whatever happens happens but you know this is the energy of you know going to another room going to another room or going somewhere where that person or that situation is not going to be disturbing you or trying to get you to lower your frequency and your vibration. Because it seems like there's a little bit of that energy here with the page of cups in the reverse position, a childishness or a pettiness, a lack of emotional intelligence that you may, we may be coming into contact with this week. I mean, this is a very powerful message. Like I'm literally channeling this with my eyes closed. I'm feeling the energy, but do not let any situation, any conflict, any miscommunication make you feel less than or make you forget that you are in fact, this beautiful, special divine being here. The judgment card also talks, in, talks about closing out a cycle, closing out old energy. Okay. And the ace of wands in the reverse position is indicating that yes, there's an eclipse on the 14th ending this week. You are going to be more tired. You are going to be needing more rest, more naps. So allow yourself to do so. This is not a week where you try to do 50 million things and, you know, Queen of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, okay? And, you know, this message has been coming up with clients a lot. It's like, it doesn't matter if you walk. It doesn't matter if you run. At the end of the day, you're still going to make it to the mother freaking destination. And that's all Mary had a little lamb, okay? So period. Okay. Period point blank period. But if you like going into this week, if you know, really feel me right now, if you feel like, you know, there's a situation, a opposition, there's something that's popping up. That's trying to get you to come out of character. That's trying to get you out of, you know, your vibration, your frequency, Whew. remind yourself it's happening. 
but I have power and I have control. I'm going to just choose to bless the situation and keep it pushing. Okay. Keep it pushing. Good looking. All right. High priestess also talks about connecting deeper with your spirituality. This is a week to go heavily within. This is a week to, you know, have your spirit team on speed dial. You know, somebody has you messed up this week. Woo! You know, talk to the spiritual team. Let them know, like, hey, come through, because I'm about to, I'm about to do something crazy. Okay, breathe it out. The temperance is about balance. The temperance is also angelic energy. Okay, so a message for the collective spirit wants wants you to know here that all is happening as it should. Even these disturbances, even these conflicts and confrontations. Okay, because everything is a reflection of something that's going on internally inside of you. So ask yourself, what is the medicine? What is this teaching me this week? Dive deeper because things that are happening this week, it's happening on a way deeper, um, you know, embedded surface beneath the surface in the dirt. It's happening has bigger meaning here. Okay. This person isn't just trying to push your buttons or disrespect you for no reason. It's something deeper here, but you don't need to allow that into your space. Okay. It is your birthright to choose what you will and will not engage with and, you know, let mess with you. And for some of you, it's easier said than done, but whew, you know what I'm saying? You will be able to, to overcome this energy for the week ahead. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing you guys. That's a big energy. I, I feel like this would be a powerful week to, you know, maybe focus on doing some organizing as well. Um, you know, getting the planners out, getting the whiteboards out, um, also creating possibly a vision board as well. Seeing the vision going in and asking yourself, what do I truly, honestly, deeply desire? What is happening in my reality right now that I do not like? And what do I wish to change? Okay. Um, so that's a big self-care as well. You know, the queen of pentacles, she's glowing. And of course it, it, she's glowing this much because, you know, she, she pours into her cup. Um, she also invests into her health as well. You know, when you take care of yourself on a internal level, it reflects on the external as well. So this could also be a message with the ace of pentacles behind the queen of pentacles that you could possibly be investing into something, uh, for your self-care or for your health, something that is holistic, something that is very beneficial for you at this time here but prayer temperance and the high priestess right next to one another prayer is the key for this week ahead asking spirit to come through give you the strength give you the energy to overcome any challenges and obstacles okay anything that may arise because i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna lie to you there could be a you know heavier energy this week a childish energy that could be coming through whether this is work whether this is family members relationship matters so you know breathe it out and, and i definitely see i'm surprised the hermit didn't come through here but but there's a big energy of protecting your peace and not allowing the funny stuff to have access to you the week ahead. Okay. So retreating, going inward and having your spiritual team on speed dial. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for the collective. That was very powerful. I felt it too. Okay. I did feel it. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and shift over into the more in-depth specifically to you. What can you expect? What's going to be popping up on top of this collective energy? Let's Let's get it. Let's go. All right, family. So jumping into the more in-depth, detailed, what's popping up for you on top of the collective reading energy, we're going to get into it. Okay. So starting out before you pick your groups, I would like you to take at least three deep mindful breaths. Okay. Doing so will not only help you calm your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit, but this will also help you deeply connect to your intuition, your third eye, and your higher self, okay? So doing so, taking a moment to ground and center will help you get a more accurate reading today, okay? Next step is to ask yourself either out loud or in your head, what is going to be popping up for me the week ahead from the 8th all the way to the 14th? What can I expect? What can I look out for? What is the specific advice for for me. Here before you, I have three groups. We have pile number one, creativity, pile two, 
yin and yang and pile three with luminosity okay all right so again that's group one group two and group three if you need to you can pause this video here there's absolutely no rush if you would need to meditate over the cards and take your time go for it all right as always the timestamps will be pinned in the comments as well as the description box along with all of the decks that i'm using here today you already know how i'm rocking all right but i'm super excited i'm going to get into it i will see you at your pile selection let's get it let's go all right getting right into it for those of you that selected group one pile number one with the creativity card this is your more in depth specifically to you what's going to be popping up what's the tea and what's the advice okay so just from this card alone i i do feel like this is going to be a positive week for you again especially you know if you implement the guidance that came through in the collective reading of not letting anything that that shall pop up this week affect you and what you have going on in your headspace here. But I do see a lot of possibilities for you this week or optimism. I do I do see that here. I see you walking through a, a particular door, uh, making a decision this week with confidence. I also do see a beautiful companionship, having support from either a friend, a family member, a lover here. But I definitely see that, you know, Spirit wants you to know that anything that may pop up this week, I, I see that you're not going to have to deal with it alone, which is actually really beautiful here. Okay. The creativity card also has a message of trying something new you know, maybe something that you've always wanted to do. You've never got the time to do it. Allow yourself to immerse yourself in your imagination and your creativity this week. Okay. So let's get into your more specific cards. What's going to be popping up for you starting with moonology. We have full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity this week. You also have full moon energy, which is interesting. So there's a new moon this week. Don't get that twisted. But with these cards, this is indicating that something is going to be illuminated to you this week. Something is going to be revealed. I feel like you're going to see a person, place, or situation for what it really is. You know, Scorpio energy, you know, with this is saying it's time to release negativity. I feel like you are going to have a realization that something that you have been investing in or something that you've been showing up to or something that you've been, you know, taking part in just isn't for you anymore here. Uh, this releasing negativity card could also be, you know, you releasing negative self-talk, you releasing judgment on yourself, you releasing certain things that you partake in, you know, um, when it comes to yourself and you're like, okay, no more of that. I need to release that. It's holding me back here. So full moons always, you know, show the energy of, things being revealed. So be on the lookout for some sort of truth. Um, this doesn't necessarily just have to be, you know, something bad, but I feel like if you've been needing answers, if you've been needing clarity, it's going to be on and pop in this week. Like it's like blatantly in your face. You're not going to be able to miss it. Full moons can also bring heightened emotions. So this could be a more emotional month for you, uh, not month, uh, maybe the whole month of October is very emotional for you. Hey, okay. But this week, okay. To, talking about the week is going to be, you know, you're going to be more sensitive. I feel like you are going to be, um, you know, just diving deep and looking at things beneath the surface, seeing the bigger picture and the bigger reason as to why things are taking place here, especially with your personal uh, close relationships here. So diving deeper, we have divine wisdom. Yeah, and her third eye chakra here is illuminated. So, you know, your intuition has been feeling something. And I feel like your intuition spirit's going to be like, yes, confirmation, here you go. So you're going to be getting confirmation on something that you already knew. I also feel like you guys are going to be, you know, just connecting more with the, the wisdom, the, the divine wisdom of the universe. Okay. Spiritual knowledge, spiritual truth. We also have the divine feminine energy. So some of you guys, again, with you choosing creativity, that's a powerful way to step into your divine feminine to nurture and nourish your feminine energy. So, you know, spirit could be calling you this week to, regardless of your gender, to do things that help you nurture your feminine energy, doing something that is creative, doing something that allows you to tap into your imagination Okay, connecting with the sacral chakra as well as the root chakra too, with her dress being red here. Maybe some of you guys are feeling more called to wear flowy dresses. 
okay? Movement of the body, you know, connecting with things that make you feel more beautiful, okay? Again, you know, regardless of the gender here, take the messages as it resonates here, but there's a big emphasis on embracing that divine feminine energy. And also this week, it's more relaxed for you. It's not as fast paced. It's not as hectic. It's more of a calming energy, which is beautiful. So we do have spiritual protection. So this could be spirit coming through to let you know that this week you want to up your spiritual protection. And collectively, that's what came through here. Do not let anything, anyone, any place disturb your peace. If you feel like somebody is trying to intentionally trigger you and get you out of character, you need to protect your energy and you need to go in a different direction this week. Okay. Because with eclipse energy, eclipse at the end of the week, you're already going to be feeling drained, exhausted, fatigued. Don't let somebody else come through and, and add on to that here. So protecting, setting those boundaries here. I also feel like this is confirmation for some of you. If you've recently did some sort of protection spell or protection work, spiritual bath, this is your confirmation that it in fact worked here. I also feel like you're going to be doing a lot of deep, oh, that's that full moon of Scorpio. You're going to be doing a lot of deep, uh, spiritual work. Okay. So while you're sleeping all week, it, it seems like you're going to be, you know, in, in different dimensions and doing a lot of different work in your dreams. This could be healing. You could be astro traveling to other people's dreams and, you know, doing stuff on the astro realms here the week ahead. But this is a very spiritual, powerful week for you guys. So some of you guys, you know, you guys are, are healers, you're witches, witches, you are intuitives, you are psychics, you are mediums here. This is your week to, to go crazy, to go wild with it. Okay. Because you're tapped in. I feel like you're always tapped in, but this week, oh yeah. Okay. Shooting star, make a wish. And I know some people say, you know, don't manifest on the eclipse, but honestly do whatever you want. Okay. Cause I'm going to be doing some work on the eclipse period point blank. And, you know, it's every, it's, you know, different people's uh, opinions and viewpoints here, but I feel like spirit is calling you guys to focus on, you know, making wishes and putting those intentions out there. Okay. Um, and putting it out into the cosmos because you're very connected. And I feel like this is going to come to fruition fairly quickly for you here. Okay. So diving deeper, we have the witch's cottage and this is security. So again, there is definitely an emphasis on setting those boundaries. Okay. Not not letting everybody have access to you this mother freaking week. Okay. Um, some of you guys are going to be choosing to say, no, I don't want to hang out. No, I'm going to stay home. I have other plans and respectfully you are, you're good for that, right? Because not everybody, especially with a new moon at the end of the week, you have to be mindful what you're choosing to engage in. Okay. This could also be spirit telling you to up your protection, your spiritual protection around your home. This could be you creating some sort of, um, what would you call it? it? It's slipping my mind, but it's like you create something and it, it, a ward. So creating some sort of psychic ward to ward off negative energies, putting it by your front door outside around your house, sprinkling salt around your house. There's a need to up your protection around your house. So definitely be sure to do that this week. Some of you guys are also going to be, you know, focusing on getting your house together this week, cleaning a lot, organizing, throwing out, getting rid of old energy, which is going to be good for you. There could also be a stray cat that crosses your path here. So you also have the Lord, the God, this is masculine energy. So again, you know, with you guys having the divine feminine, I feel like beautiful balance. This could also be the energy of, you know, you getting help from other people this week too, but also it's like, you know, you're going to be taking action. You're going to be doing things. But I feel like the action that you take, it's more so, you know, the, the feminine energy. So uh, organizing and, and, and nurturing and, you know, pouring into certain things and creating, turning a house into a home. Okay. That's what spirit is wanting you to put your energy towards this week. And then you also do have altar period. I felt it. You guys are so freak. Some of you guys are life path sevens, uh, regardless of your life path. You guys are very connected and devoted to your spiritual path. I feel like you, you can have heavy Neptune placements, eighth house. Okay. Maybe even 12th house placements, but strong Neptune energy here. 
psychic Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. I mean, these are just some examples, but this is a week to get out the mother freaking candles. This is a week to, again, collective reading, have your spiritual team on speed dial. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, it, it, you know, and some of you guys are being called to, you know, get back active at your altar, your spiritual altar. Okay. But this card just says dedication. So I feel like you guys are going to get more serious and more dedicated and more devoted to something in your life. Okay. So we're going to wind down the reading with more specific tea, um, some details here. So we have the book. Some of you guys are going to be reading more. Um, but again, this talks about hidden mystery secrets, the unknown memories. Okay. So some of you guys are going to be doing some deep, um, Akashic records work this week. Okay. Or some deep shadow work. Again, certain secrets could be revealed to you. Epiphanies are going to be coming through. Some of you guys are just going to be expanding your spiritual knowledge. We have the butterfly. So this week there's going to be powerful metamorphosis taking place, embracing change, being open, evolution of your soul, reinventing yourself here. We have the emperor Mars. Okay. Independent energy, aggressive, active, energetic leader, impatient. Okay. Initi initiator, naive, assertive pioneer. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be very motivated to, you know, do what it is that you want to do. And I feel like you guys might, um, be coming into contact with other people that might be a little bit impatient. You might be feeling a little bit impatient <laughs> this week. So just be mindful of that restless here, but don't overexert your energy. We have the stalemate card, standoff, no way out, non-committal, hold, hold out, delay tactics, blocked, refusing to compromise. Again, if you do come into contact with a stubborn individual, you know, somebody that is just like, okay, it's my way or the highway on like an ego high, psh, just don't even give it your energy. <laughs> we have the cross period, like destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, trials, conviction, necessity, duty, fate. So there could even be some faded events that happen this week that take place here. But for me, the cross is like, you know, you're on your spiritual path. And I feel like you guys could even come across some powerful knowledge. Okay. You could be connecting with your spirit team heavy. So we also have the tornado storm brewing an unexpected energy end, break down, over and done, and destroy. So there could be a very sudden, <laughs> um, again, this could be like a chaotic energy with Aries right here, with the emperor, with Mars. So beware of fights, okay? Beware of losing your cool or being around somebody that loses their cool. This is not a week to, you know, let that situation happen, right? It's like, Walk away, bless the situation because you're dealing with a stubborn individual here. Then we also have the diamond ring, proposal, engagement, alliance. So some of you guys are going to be, um, again, getting more devoted and, and more serious about something or someone in your life this week. And then we have the sun. Yes, energy, power, climax, fulfilled, success, divine masculine. So we have a lot of masculine energy that's coming through as well. So this could be about you tapping into your masculine energy, doing things, creating things, or a masculine person in your life is going to be playing a big part in your week ahead. But be, be wary of, you know, clashing and confrontation. Protect your peace. And final advice to get you through your week ahead, we have command Mr. Ashtar, call to action. This week, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk, okay? We also have Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed this week. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Okay. And finally, we have Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition period. Okay. So group number one, that is your more specific energy, what you can expect on top of the collective reading. If this resonated with you and you would like to let me know how so definitely comment down below. Okay. Um, also be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, I have a few restocked in my website. So be sure to check that out. Link is in the description box, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next group. Let's get it. Let's go.
All right, connecting with my beautiful lovelies that selected pile two, group number two with yin and yang. This is your reading. This is your more in-depth tea, specifically tailored to you, what you can expect, what can you look out for. Yin and yang, let's talk about it. This is, you know, two powerful energies coming into union, working together and creating something beautiful. This is about balance. This is about the divine feminine, the divine masculine coming together and creating something beautiful. All right. So this is a very specific message, but I'm going to say it. Okay. It's not going to be for all of you, but if you are, you know, throwing that thing, okay, you throw in that thing, you get freaky leaky this week, be careful. Okay. Because to become, to become one, right. And then they create three, bitch. Okay. So just be careful. Um, cause I see energy around and some of you are wanting this. Okay. But I see energy around creation. I see energy around, you know, possibly planting a path powerful seed and there's a new moon this week too so for those of you that are trying to conceive this is your week to get it on and popping on and popping okay and for those of you that are not just be mindful take the proper protocols and procedures <laughs> All right. But, um, I also feel like, you know, possibly you could be collaborating or, or linking up with somebody and it's a, a very deep, beautiful, powerful, like y'all just vibe, like in the cut with my twin, we be vibing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all, y'all have me feeling goofy. Okay. Y'all are the goofy people group two. Y'all be real goofy about it. Y'all are my people. Okay. So what can you expect on top of the collective reading? You guys here have full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. And it's funny that we were just talking about procreation climax. Okay. Um, full moon in Aries. We also have cardinal moon, be bold and make the first move this week. So if there is something that you're wanting to initiate, if there is something that you are wanting to do, go after it, go, yeah, go, go ahead. You were going to do it anyways. Get your little head ass on. Okay. That's what Spirit just told y'all. A Spirit style. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just joking you guys, but you know, also I will say, be careful, be weary. It came through in the collective with full moon and Aries drama meter, whoo, rage, road rage. So be careful on the road. Um, you might be having road rage or other people might have road rage. So just be mindful of that. Um, be mindful, you know, coming into contact with people that are always angry attitudes. This is a week where you want to steer clear. This could be a family member. This could be, you know, somebody that you have in your life. Just be careful of that because a fiery climax approaches. So it's also like a message, like if you've been like, you know, like holding your tongue on something, you've been holding your tongue, you've been like, okay, let me keep the peace this week. You might let it out. Okay. Um, so that's the energy that I do see here, but it's like, I don't get bad energy from it. Cause it's like, if you have been biting your tongue and holding back, trying to keep the peace, you know, you can't hold on to all that forever. Like at some point it's going to, you know, come out. So do what you got to do, boo. I'm not even going to hold you. Okay. You also have the magic circle protection. So protect your energy. I mean, so far it's come through in the last group, the collective reading. So I feel like for everybody protect your energy. Um, I'm even like, I'm seeing like a cloak, like when you go out in public, like putting like a magic cloak protection, you know, so the haters can't see you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I have all these jokes for y'all. So maybe a spirit's telling y'all, you know, whatever pops up this week, you know, laugh it off, you know, don't take things too serious, especially if somebody's trying to come at you bless, you know, they could just be trying to take out their frustrations, you know, on somebody. And it just ha happens to be you here. So we have embolic uh, in bulk. <laughs> Don't get me lying. Okay. Awakening, basically spring energy. And again, the two, the two goats back there, I feel like some of you guys could really be conceiving. You know, of course, if you are actively trying, I feel success with that here, but it's also like you, you're awakening to, to calmer waters. Cause this gives me good energy. You are awaking to, you know, just peace, harmony here. Like, okay. Like I don't have to engage with this. I don't have to always, you know, tip for tat and go back and forth if they want to get the last word they got it okay like in the cup with my twin movie vibing like no okay and then we also have litha intensification so 
you guys expect if there has been something ongoing, okay? So if there's been like a, you know, conflict ongoing or if there's been something that and this doesn't necessarily just have to be bad, you know, you've been waiting to hear back from this job or waiting to hear back the results on something, it's going to gain momentum and I feel like you're going to be getting some movement with that. Um but again, if there has been something popping off, you know, um that's been going on for a while, it's going to intensify your feelings and the emotions. Your feelings and emotions this week are definitely going to be through the roof. You are going to be feeling things, feeling other people's things. Okay. Um, just feeling a lot of the energy. So be mindful. And some of some, you know, sometimes when you're feeling off, it might not even be your energy. It could be somebody else's. The spirit is making me stare at this smoky quartz and just touching it calms me down. So maybe some of you guys, especially if you deal with anger issues, or you just have a hard time channeling your emotions in the right way, get your hands on some smoky quartz because instantly touching this, it kind of brought me back down. I'm going to put this in my lab, okay? I'm feeling vibey right now. All right, diving deeper, we have the red string of fate. So some of you guys are going to be noticing like a certain connection in your life where it's like, even if you try to leave this motherfucker, you just feel a little bit stuck, okay? So if there's nobody in your life, you could be meeting somebody where it's like there's an instant um you know draw there's an instant chemistry instant attraction and for those of you this person is already in your life and when you first met this person it was instant instant chemistry instant attraction okay maybe some things have been you know popping off with that and it's like oh what's going on okay we have running against destiny's time this week we have bubbles freedom in reverse so I feel like you guys, yeah, you guys just want to be carefree. You guys just want to, you know, be free and, and just have fun and enjoy here. Um, and there's something that is blocking your freedom too. It could be this connection or this bound. This is something that you're bound to. There's something that you're stuck to. And the red string of fate, it kind of makes me feel like toxic energy though, because this, your hands are on motherfucking fire. That's a little bit painful. So, ooh, interesting fire and ice yeah i feel like some of you guys are you know in some sort of conflict where y'all are just oppositions like you could this could be your op okay <laughs> um but it's just like y'all don't mesh well so if there's somebody in your life and y'all have been clashing this would be a week to kind of let them do their thing okay possibly a cord cutting could be needed okay this might not be resonate with all of you guys so if you're in a happy connection and there's no toxic energy to it disregard that but I feel like for some of you, there could be like a toxic friendship, a toxic relationship with a parent, a toxic love relationship. Um, this could even be like a, like a, um, what do you call it? Situationship, you know, toxic sneaky link kind of thing. So mm, be careful with that. Cause it's like love strikes. So yeah, I just see new path awaits. Okay. So it's like, the love strike card also makes me think of like shooting your shot. So if there is something that you're wanting to go after, go for it this week. Go for it. I feel like it will open new paths for you. It will be good for you here. Okay. Um, but when it comes to this toxic situation that you feel bound to, you feel stuck to, perhaps you would benefit from a cord cutting, you know, releasing here. Okay. Cause there's something that you need to free yourself from that spirit's like, you're still holding on to it. And there's just constant clashing. Okay. So we have the child beginnings, innocence brand new creativity spontaneous and experience so some of you guys are going to be starting something new a new creative expression um a new hobby a new skill a new job this week there's something new that's entering your life here we have the clouds in reverse so whatever you've been confused about if there's been confusion and decision unclear energy that's going to be going away this week misunderstandings is going to be going away. So we have, yeah, for some of you guys that are trying to conceive <laughs> birth of a daughter. So you could actually be giving birth to a daughter literally, um, in the future, if you are conceiving and, and you do get pregnant this month here. Um, but also this card just talks about a vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure. So prioritize some leisure time, cut out some leisure time, some relaxation time, do something that's fun this week. Yeah. You have a very supportive friend, a sibling, a peer, a faithful companion, loyalty, devotion. And that's what this yin and yang is. I feel like you might link up with somebody that has really genuine love energy for you. 
Okay. We have the mortar and pestle alchemy. Okay. Potion spell work. Okay. Breaking things down. So yeah, for everybody collectively, do your, get on your zoom. Okay. Do your spiritual work this week. Okay. Whatever that is for you. It could even just be, you know, journaling. It could be meditating. It could be, you know, candles. It could be rituals, whatever that is for you. This is the week to get it on and pop in. Okay. And then we also do have the light bulb, which is an epiphany. You inventing something. So I feel like something's going to click inside of your head this week in a powerful way. And it's going to motivate you to take action in the future. And then we have enduring, stable, solid, steady, restrained, secure. Okay. So there's a need to, you know, remind yourself, stay grounded, Whew, breathe this week. If anything or anyone, any situation gets you a little bit off of your rocker, breathe. Okay. Breathe. Okay. But you're going to have some sort of realization, some sort of breakthrough. Okay. After something is clearly revealed to you this week. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, this is a fun week for you guys. Your final advice, we have Archangel Michael coming through, trusting heaven. This week you are safe. Angels stand close to you. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Wow. And then we have, what is this? The Shekin Shekinah? sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life, dove energy, peace. So, you know, do, do promote peace. Okay. Um, this is the week where you are being called to express your gifts, share your gifts, even do some dancing, throw on some move, uh, some music. Okay. All right. And then just move the body, connect with the body. Okay. Make some music. Okay. Make some content. All right. Group two, but that is your more specific in-depth energy for the week ahead. If this resonated with you and you would like to let me know how so, definitely comment down below. Okay, also be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys want to see more like so. And if you're interested in booking a personal private reading with me, I did restock my website. So check the description box, head over there and get your reading before it's all out of stock. Okay, but um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last, but definitely not least group. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, last but definitely not least, group number three, for those of you that selected luminosity, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, this is your more specific to you week ahead. What can you expect? What can you look out for and some advice, okay? I feel like just from this card, you guys are definitely going to be glowing. I feel like you guys could also be getting compliments on your aura, your energy, your appearance. I just feel like the work that you've been doing on yourself, whether this is like self-care, self-love, healing, releasing, it's definitely going to be reflected to the people around you. It's just going to be reflected here. So just know that what you've been putting out, you're going to be receiving back in this week, if that makes sense. So this could also be, you know, good karma, good energy, spinning the block for you this week here. When I look at this card also, I think of a teacher. So some of you guys are going to be, you know, stepping into your powerful role of being a leader or being a teacher this week. Hummingbird, this is peace. This is enjoyment. This is, you know, happiness, fun. So prioritize that fun energy this week is very important for you guys. So let's dive deeper. Your moonology cards here, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon and Pisces. We also do have south node. Don't let your past hold you back. And both of these cards are literally the same color here, which is really interesting. So this could be like the color of your aura this week, the vibes that are around you, very gentle, very delicate. Um, but with this balance, spirituality, and practicality card, this is about, you know, balancing your spiritual practices, with your everyday, you know, 3D reality, okay? So this could also be like, you know, carrying a, a crystal, a particular crystal with intention with you every single day. This week, this could be, you know, don't forget about your spiritual practices. If you've been feeling out of balance or you've been feeling a little bit blocked, this is the week to get back to it with consistency. I also feel like there could be, you know, heavier emotions with the full moon in Pisces, you know? Pisces is very sensitive. It's very intuitive. It's very psychic. So I do feel like you guys are definitely going to be tapped into other people's feelings and emotions as well as your own this week here. I do feel with the, don't let the past hold you back. There could be either visions or memories or energies of the past that are going to be surfacing this week. But spirit is reminding you, do not go back to that energy or do not um, let 
the past or whatever happened in the past stop you from moving forward in the future, which is very beautiful here. The South Node also talks about shedding and releasing. So I do feel like you guys, you know, are going to be doing some sort of releasing energy, you know, releasing certain people, places, things, situations, activities that just don't serve you anymore. And as a result of that, I see you glowing. I see your aura just being recharged, rejuvenated here. So spirit is definitely encouraging you to do something this week that can help you know, um, clear your aura. Okay. So let's dive deeper here. We have the witch healer. So that's what I was feeling. Your energy is very, very, very like radiant. And I feel like there could even be people that come to you for healing. Okay. You know, people that are seeking you out for your knowledge, for your healing, for your beautiful, powerful psychic abilities as well. So be on the lookout for that. But I also see you connecting with the elements, connecting with herbs to bring certain intentions and energies and frequencies into your reality here. So spirit's also giving a message that, you know, you have the power to heal yourself. So this could be about like a particular health situation, um, you know, health issue. Look, maybe look into, you know, how herbs can help you with certain things that you're dealing with here. Um, you know, focus intention, focus, focus prayers. But I see a lot of healing around you, okay? Healing energy is around you this week. So some of you guys could be tarot readers with the tarot cards here. Um, people could seek you out for guidance. People could seek you out for your healing energy, for your beautiful green teal aura here. You're very magical. And that's why I see with this luminosity card, it's like people see you as this powerful, peaceful, gentle being. Like the energy around you is so zen and so calm. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people in your life are seeking you out this week for your gifts. Okay. For some of you, if you've recently ordered a tarot deck, I feel like you're going to be receiving it in the mail this week and you're going to be able to start using it. And for those of you that don't have tarot cards, I feel like you could actually be very gifted, um, you know, with reading cards, throwing cards, things of that sort here. Okay. So that's something to look into. That's your confirmation. If you have been considering that. You also do have Mabon balance. So it's like, again, it's like if you have been dealing with any um, energies in your life that have been out of balance, whether it's with your health, whether it's with relationships here, I see you bringing it back into balance, back harmony, equilibrium here. And so I'm just, I keep getting a message about health. So possibly a lot of group three viewers, you know, maybe there's something going on with your health or maybe there's something, you know, you're currently healing from uh, a surgery or you're healing from something. I just see your body this could even be like your hormones coming back into balance. I see you focusing on that. I see you looking into that here. So with the guidance card as well, maybe some of you guys should just, you know, do more research as well as to, you know, what you can do on your part, um, holistically to, to aid you with your healing and detoxification as well here. Some of you might actually be choosing to go to a healer, to go to a psychic medium, to get a reading from somebody this week. And if you have been thinking about doing that, I do see that that's also in the cards here, but let's dive a little bit deeper. Okay. We have seeking the light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, I just feel like there's an the energy of group three, you guys um, it's all it's both ways. So it's like, you're seeking the light, you're seeking the guidance from your spiritual team, from the divine. Okay. But also I feel like people that are seeking the light are also being drawn to you this week. Okay. It seems like your vibration, your frequency is very high this week. You know, so this could be your confirmation. Like if you have been really working on raising your vibration and, you know, shifting out of a, a negative consciousness, it's definitely showing in the reading arising from the ashes. So some of you guys, you know, may have recently, you know, gone through, um, a heavy heaviness or a heavy procedure. You had to go through some rough times. Like, you know, you really got knocked down and I see that this week you're focusing on rebuilding yourself, picking yourself back up after you have fallen you're not letting a particular situation stop you. I just see you're just like your willpower. Yeah, horns and stubbornness. I will say if you are, you know, in the process of healing or recovering from something, whether it be a surgery, whether it be, um, you know, getting over um, some sort of sickness, make sure that you're not being stubborn and trying to force uh, some of you guys, especially if you recently had a child and you're trying to, you know, clean up the house and, and do all this stuff by yourself, you should be resting in the bed. You should be, you know, being taken care of as well as, you know, the little baby being taken care of too. So make sure that you're not trying to overexert yourself, especially with there being 
a eclipse at the end of the week. So be mindful of that. Some of you guys could be very stubborn. You're like, oh, it's okay. I'll be fine. But you know, especially if you resonate about the message, you know, of just having a child, you still have a, a huge wound inside of you from where the placenta was. So be careful. But some of you, this is just about a sickness. This is just about a surgery here. So either, however it resonates, okay, you be gentle with yourself. Don't try to overdo it here. We also have the devil and angel next to horns and stubbornness. So again, I see that you guys have been working on your energy, working on bettering yourself. And I do feel like, again, with all three of the groups so far and the collective reading for the week ahead, there will be something that pops up that tries to be the devil on your shoulder to get you to act out of character, to get you to stoop down to their level or to get you, you know, out, out of character. So there's going to be a particular situation this week where you have to choose to be the bigger person or you have to choose to, you know, can listen to higher self and just don't feed into it. So however that resonates for you, just be mindful of that. Choose unconditional love. Okay. We have low, you have a lot of lotus flowers coming through. So maybe you can look up on Google the meaning of lotus flowers that could also strongly resonate with you. Some of you might even have a lotus flower tattooed on you or a lotus flower painting that's around you as you're watching this video here. And that's also a confirmation here. Spirit is telling you to choose love. If somebody is mean to you this week, choose love, choose kindness. Don't be rude to them back. Literally give them a compliment, you know, kind of make them feel like shitty. Like, why would you treat me like that? Come on now. <laughs> we have tranquility. All right. So again, your vibe, your energy is very chill. It's very grounded here. I'm seeing you listening to gentle spa music this week, drinking plenty of water, drinking your herbal tea, and just, you know, being in your hermit mode, healing, recharging, and believe in the magic of you. So yeah, for those of you that are healing and recovering, believe that you will. Okay. Believe that you will. Okay. And let me change this camera battery. Give me one second. All right, group three, diving deeper, more specific Oracle messages for your week ahead. What's going to be popping up? You guys have the broom and this card says, don't need it. Unwanted, unpleasant, feels good when it's over, clean up, unavoidable. Yeah. So I feel like you guys are going to be releasing things that no longer serve you. Uh, this could also be, you you know, really focusing on cleaning. But again, especially if you're healing from something at this time, don't overdo it. Ask for help from others here. We have the hair fit. So you guys are going to be focusing on uh, being more stable, preserving your energy. There could be stubbornness, uh, stubborn, the horns. So beware of stubborn people, you being stubborn, be careful with that, okay? <laughs> like if somebody is, you know, multiple people are giving you advice and it's all saying the same thing, you know, maybe you should probably listen okay um physical energy down to earth sensual so yeah sensual energy you know embracing all your senses you know eating some good food this week okay listening to some good frequencies this week yeah if somebody is trying to argue with you pick a fight with you be rude to you don't engage with it you might be tempted to you know with the devil and the angel like you're like homie you must not know who i was okay before all this spiritual shit like you must not know but you don't even need to prove yourself to nobody like honestly bless the situation look at it from a, pers a perspective of love obviously they're hurting if they're, you know, just trying to pick a fight with you or be rude and be nasty here. So definitely protect your energy from that. With the hermit, this is also growth. This is maturity. You know, somebody could be, you know, toxic, trying to be possessive over you or rude to you. Mm -mm. Okay. We have the strength. Leo energy here. Monogamous, generous, hos hospitable. Okay. Um, creative, caring, warm. So somebody could be coming to take care of you, or I could be picking up on, you know, maybe there's somebody in your life that you are going to go help and take care of them in their time of need. So however that resonates here, there could also be with the Saturn card in the reverse position, the world here, um, some sort of responsibility, something that really needs your attention, something that's more serious that may pop up. So this could be some important document that comes through a phone call that comes through something that you kind of, you know, forgot about, or, you know, you were going to get back to it and that could pop up. So some sort of letter, some sort of bill. So be careful with that. Be mindful of that. We have the wheel of fortune, a faded event is going to be happening. Karma is going to be coming, especially with somebody that's trying to be rude to you or kick you down when you're already down. Karma is going to spin the block here. There's going to be a lot of forces of the universe. Um, a lot of synchronicities that are going to be coming through this week as well. So pay 
pay attention to the signs. And with the tower card, this does talk about aggression, chaos, action. I also feel like, you know, this particular person or situation might even get even madder that you're just choosing to, you know, ignore them or not engage or not stoop to their level. But honestly, F them. You know what I'm saying? F them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but with the tower, whatever is falling apart, whatever spirit is, you know, ripping away from your reality this week, let it let it. Okay. And then final advice to get you through your week ahead. Group number three, we have Mary Magdalene teacher awakens. Oh my gosh. And I was like, I just feel like you guys are a teacher. I just feel like people go to you. Okay. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Then we have the divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring this week. Know that you are being guided. Guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay. So there is divine intervention. Okay. So don't feel like you have to get your lick back. Spirit will do that for you, baby. And, you know, smoky quartz was on the table as I did your reading. So possibly you would really benefit from connecting with some smoky quartz this week. Okay. As well as some rose quartz to aid you with your healing. Healing and I hope you feel better. I hope you get better. Okay. And I know that you will. Okay. So group number three, that is your more in depth read. If this resonated with you and you feel like sharing, definitely comment down below. Let me know how so. Okay. Also be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys want to see more like so. And if you are interested in booking a personal private reading with me, I did restock a few on my website. So check out the link in the description box. Okay. We'll get something set up, but that is all I have for all of you guys today it was such a blast in the cut with my twin we be vibing it was such a blast vibing with you all <laughs> all right take care peace